So the hot topic this week has been the ROG Ally is cooking SD cards like it's the 4th of July. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Some have speculated like one of our great viewers, Crimson Cloud, that this issue could be down to knockoff or poor quality SD cards that Ally owners are using. However, most seem to now think that this is indeed a hardware issue with overheating being the main cause. So is there a fix to stop our SD cards from cooking? So let's dive straight in and see what ASUS's response to all this is. And they finally released an official statement just yesterday at the time of recording, stating that this will take time to diagnose properly, but they will work hard to get to the bottom of our concerns. However, in the meantime, they will be providing an update that boosts the Ally's fan speeds. With ASUS also recommending creating our own manual fan curves in their Armory Crate app. So there are a few possible solutions for us while ASUS race to find out a more long-term fix. The first as ASUS recommends is to test out different manual fan curves which will result in the Allies fans kicking in harder and faster when using our SD cards. Another solution that other Ally gamers have decided on is to plug their SD cards into a USB hub instead of directly into the Ally. But this isn't ideal as it results in clutter and a less than sleek way of playing our Ally. A third solution is to just not use SD cards at all and upgrade the SSD of the Ally, which quite a few of us gamers have done successfully. However, this is a fiddly process where you really need to know what you're doing and have the right tools at hand. The final solution is one that many, including myself and another great viewer, community theme creator, are doing, which is just to use the micro SD card for emulators and less intensive games. And only use the internal SSD for those big AAA graphic intensive games that place a heavy burden on the Allies hardware. In fact, I came across one Ally customer on social media who fried all of the SD cards in their local store just by walking past them with the Ally in his pocket. Alps, please, please tell me you're joking. You, you are joking, right? Alps, please? So a big question that arises then is how come the Nintendo Switch doesn't have this issue when playing all games off their SD card while the Ally does? And there are two possible reasons. The first is that Nintendo HQ have a vastly superior quality assurance department than ASUS do. Nope, not gonna make that elf joke I've used in the last two vids about ASUS's woeful QA department. No, must resist. And the second reason is that the Ally is capable of playing the most demanding AAA games at 1080p and high frame rates so far above anything that the aging seven year old Switch can do. And that's something that we could only have dreamt on a handheld just a few short years ago. And all this innovation does come at a cost with an awesome comment from our viewer Rayan stating that he's had numerous other Aces products with the Ally being the first one to give him this much of a headache. But that's the bleeding edge for you, he says. If you don't walk away having paid the cost in blood, it's not really the bleeding edge now, is it? Wow, what a comment. Thanks so much Rayan for that. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you've enjoyed this video as we have tons of great ally content planned that you do not want to miss. Plus we're about to smash through our 1000 subscribers target thanks to all of you amazing viewers so a massive thanks. And I'd love to hear what you think is the solution in dealing with this SD card issue. Or let us know if you're playing AAA titles off the SD card without any issues whatsoever. And as a little extra bonus for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. I don't think people realize how much strength it takes to pull your own self out of a dark place mentally. So if you've done that today or any day, I'm proud of you. Taking care of our mental health is so important to help keep us positive and to stay healthy. So stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you'd like to know how to set up RetroBat for emulation on your Ally in 12 simple steps. I hope all of you understand how much I value and appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.